Hello again, I am Blunty, having a bit of a having a bit of a rough week, if I'm honest with you guys. A bit stressed out. But I wanted to I wanted to give you a huge, huge idea. One of the tricky things to do in in the in the current climate of things when you're uh, are a content creator or want to be a content creator is finding a niche to fill. Hasn't been going well for me recently because the kind of stuff I do has been quite overcrowded and ever more so in the recent years as people sort of jump on board. But when I started doing what I do, uh, big fish, small pond, and now I'm a very small fish in a very large ocean. So that's always fun. And the channel's performance over the last year or so especially has been very rocky and very tricky to get sort of stable and just consistent. It's just very frustrating and it just stresses me out. Amongst other things that are stressing me out at the moment, like like the bills to pay and things like that. So a little fair warning, my, my headspace is ragged right now for many reasons. I'm sure I'll bounce off throughout the video. Um, but I'm going to ask for your help as well. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing well mentally right now, and, and one of the biggest stresses at the moment is I have some very large and unexpectedly large bills that I've got to try and take care of, so I'm going to ask for your help on that, beg even for your help on that, because it is, um, is quite concerning how I'm going to, and how I'm going to manage that stuff right now, so in the down below there'll be, um, there'll be, a, there'll be like a PayPal, PayPal me link or, or something along those lines, I think, probably the easiest way. Um, cause I, uh, yeah, I need your, your help. And none of it is helped right now by the fact that, uh, as, as a lot of you regulars will know, I am, uh, among other things, bipolar type two, which, um, right now I'm, I'm, I'm in a kind of mixed episode, which is rare for me. Normally it's sort of hypermanic or very, very depressed or kind of stable, but very rarely am I in a mixed episode. And if you don't know what a mixed episode is, it means, uh, I'm kind of bouncing between the two extremes, uh, between hypermanic, which for me right now is extreme irritability, fantastical grouchiness and frustration and screaming at the computer and things like that when I won't do the things I expect it to do, which is, which is why my current activity to keep myself distracted from everything, from, from the depression, from the mixed episode stuff, I'm trying to focus in on just one thing so I can just, mm, and not sort of drive myself insane worrying about the rest of my life right now. And uh, if I don't think about it, it can't drive me to um, very dangerous and dark places to think about. Ha! Huh. And that focus in the moment is learning Blender, the 3D modeling program, and Unity, with the goal of creating from scratch uh, avatars, uh, humanoid avatars, for use in things like uh, VR chat. So I made my own a few years back using a program called Vroid, and uh, uh, it's not really designed for VR chat, so you have to do a few steps to convert it and then upload it for VR chat, but you can get there. It's a bit awkward and you have to follow guides and it's, it's, it can be pretty inconsistent and janky and they're not particularly well optimized for that. So if you want an optimized every day, you have to do a lot of work on it anyway, which is something I've been doing for the last couple of days. Uh, a few days before that, I started from scratch. I had got an idea for some content I wanted to do, but I needed a, a, in particular, a, a low poly avatar, sort of a PlayStation 1 or 2 era style inspired avatar to, to go with the idea that I've had. So I wanted to sort of learn Blender by making that from scratch. And I did the first part of that live on stream and it went pretty well. And for the next few days, I've been fiddling with it and getting it prepared and refined and everything. And I'm, I'm almost exactly where I want to be with it uh, right now. Look at him. Hey, I made that from scratch. It started out as a cube. There's another option for creating normal-ish looking avatars called Ready Player Me. I do not recommend them anymore because the last time I mentioned them in a video, they they downloaded my video, edited out the bit that I was talking about their stuff, smooshed it together into a one minute long thing and uploaded it to their own channels as an ad without even asking me, let alone paying me, just stole my content to use as an ad. Fuck those guys. And they still haven't even acknowledged it. I took them to a task for it on Twitter. They deleted the original Twitter Never had a word from them yet. Every few weeks, I, I get at him again. The, the, one, of the, one of the higher ups followed me on, on, on Twitter secretly, thinking I wouldn't notice, but I checked the profile. And there he's it. Uh, when I called that out on Twitter, his entire account got deleted. They are scumbags. Do not use Ready Play Me. Ever. Thieves and scumbags. But in any case, over the last sort of week or so of me on this journey of, of just trying to keep my mind busy, um, of, of, you know, learning how to model and and rig and upload and texture and all that sort of stuff i have found a, a massive hole waiting to be filled <clears throat> in content here on youtube so here's the thing the venn diagram for people who are very very good at blender and people who are 
good at making video guides, but they don't touch. There's a, there's a fractional little overlap right in the middle, and it's like that big, like that. Because every time I came across a problem or an issue or there was something I wanted to do that I couldn't figure out how to do just by, you know, learn by doing, it was impossible, next to impossible to find a decent tutorial that just, you'd ha you have to watch like three or four different tutorials from different people and they're all so badly made because they all mumble and, 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 and whiffle and waffle. I know it's ironic me complaining about whiffling and waffling in this video, which again, I'm I'm, 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 I'm in a mixed episode right now. I don't know if you can tell by my presentation style and the way I'm bouncing around uh, from topic to topic here, but yeah, this reflects. Uh, you you want to you take a peek inside a bipolar type 2 brain uh, having a mixed episode? This, this is kind of what that looks like. Um, so hey, if you are good at Blender and you have any skills at all in video production as well, that's your niche to fill. Make decent, simple, straightforward, beginner-friendly guides on Blender Basics. And here are the things to avoid that have been driving me friggin' insane by everyone who uploads uh, uh, tutorials for this stuff. Their audio is usually incredibly quiet. It's like they're sitting in a little room and they're afraid to wake someone up. They're too condensing perfectly. It's like, what? And if their audio is loud enough, they're using a, a microphone built in the laptop so the audio is impossible to listen to anyway because of all the echoing um, and if they do get the audio right they probably haven't written a script or a guide or a bullet point list or anything so they're just straight off the top of their head trying to go oh, then you do this you do this and and, and do this oh, wait no 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 you don't do this uh, sorry you have to undo 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 you do this and you oh i forgot to do this just write a script Write a friggin' script, a bullet point list. Rehearse what you were doing first a couple of times and then start recording. Don't just record one and done off the bat and, and not even bother to edit out the mistakes you made. If someone's following along, they play a little section, you go, okay, I'm gonna do this bit. And you know, they do it themselves and they press play again on the video. And I say, oh no, no, don't do that. And oh, for fuck's sake. So I have to go pause the video again, go back, undo what you just did, then watch the next part of it. It's just, it's so badly made and so bad to follow. The, 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 the fact that they call these tutorials or guides at all is infuriating because they're not. It's just like, watch me do this. Maybe you might learn something. In fact, some of the more useful stuff that I have been watching to try and learn this stuff is not presented as guides or tutorials, but, but just kind of recordings. Oh, here's how I do this. And sometimes they're quite long videos. Like there was one quite long two-parter one where uh, some guy, oh, damn it, I forgot his name. I put it on screen, but here's a couple of videos um, where he was modeling something from scratch, a furry avatar from scratch as a sort of 24 hour or 12 hour challenge or something, I think. Um, so he uploaded that live. So he wasn't talking through everything he was doing, but he was being very clear about what he was doing at the time. He had on screen little uh, key prompts as well. So even though it wasn't a really guide, I could watch that, watch that process go. Oh, here's how we do this bit. I could pause and rewind and go through that. And I picked up little bits and pieces from that. Uh, there was one decent uh, tutorial that I uh, used in the, on the low poly thing. I'll link that down below as well. That was quite a good guide and quite successful to follow. But yeah, beyond that, it's very difficult to find anything just good that will teach you about Blender. And I'm sure there are, you know, paid courses out there, but if I'm just doing this to, as, as a pastime, as a hobby for my personal use, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to sort of learn my way through Blender so I can start making, I don't want to spend money on someone's professional guide and all that sort of stuff just to do some simple avatar stuff. I just want some free to access guides. I mean, here on YouTube, you, you get the ad revenue, <laughs> maybe some sponsorships. Or hell, you could use the little mini guides just showing little little sections. Here's how you do this little bit. Here's how you, uh, you know, rig a hand with, with, with weight paints and, you know, just little stuff and use that to funnel people to the paid content if they're interested enough to keep going. If I were even remotely competent or confident in my ability to use Blender or Unity right now, I would be making guides myself, but as it stands, I'm still rubbish at it. I'm a very long way from, from being any good at it. And, and yeah, trying to, trying to learn a program like, like, like Blender uh, and Unity and, and the way VRChat's SDK works and everything right now when I'm in a mixed episode is been extremely stressful. Come, yeah, I, I'm very frequently literally screaming at my screen. And that's not something that's common for me. You know, I'm, I'm usually fairly even tempered, but when I'm like this, I, the irritability is just inherently, so I, I try not to interact with people when I'm like this because, whew.
which is one of the reasons I'm doing this because it keeps me away from people. But anyway, yeah, that's, I just, I just wanted to have a little rant about that and take you with me. I don't know, this video is probably going to do garbage as well, which is, will hurt my channel even more than I just, I wanted to get something out today. And this is, this is, this is all I could think to, to do because all the other videos I want to make, I, I need to be in a much better headspace to do it. I'm trying really hard not to think about the bills that are due right now. If you want to help, please, for the love of God, please help. Uh, Aaliyah. Okay, what do I put there? A pay, I'll put a PayPal link in the down below. Or, you know, there's the Patreon as well if you want to throw a little a few bucks at me every month. <sighs> yeah, thank you, by the way, to my existing patrons. Um, who, who's above me on support, I do appreciate just just hugely. Um, yeah, thanks, sir. Thanks for watching me rant, I guess. Yeah, there's a, there's a massive hole in YouTube content. Blender guides, mate. Blender guides. Thanks for watching.